and Happy New Year's for everybody. And so today I'm going to be bringing you the top five uses for duct tape. You can see my roll is a little dirty, but that's because I've had it for a little while because I never knew the uses first. So my top five is, my, f my fifth favorite is probably for grips. I have a baseball bat that I found here, and if you really want a good grip, what you do is you take your duct tape and you wrap it around the baseball, uh, the baseball end. And then what you want to do is you want to take a meat tenderizer and you hit the, and then you hit where you've duct taped, so right here, and it allows you for really good grip because it allows your hand to absorb right into the duct tape. So, my, oh, there's my sister, mm -hmm. and then my fourth favorite use for duct tape is repairing boxes. Now you probably think, oh, cardboard boxes, I don't really need those. They're never going to be of use to me. Well, you're wrong. Because my sister Bridget loves playing in this cardboard box that I have right here. And earlier today, I decided that to, because she likes to be pushed around in it, to put duct tape on the bottom. This is Bridget. Yes. Yes. Go show mom. Go tell mommy. So then this box has, was really hard to push around the floor because we have hardwood floors and so when it's really hard to push we don't want to push her but she wants to be pushed so I solved that with a roll of duct tape a pocket knife and that box so what I did with the box is I put duct tape right here because of the rounded edge it'd go way smoother and I put it on the bottom here an X because the X around it, I learned this, the X around it makes it a lot easier for it to slide across the bottom. And it all comes down to friction. And fun fact that if you rub two pieces of graphite together properly, it will actually create a frictionless surface. Alright, so my top three, my, my third favorite, is repairs to garden hoses. Now... If you have a dog, then you know what I'm talking about, and if you have a garden hose. So if you leave your garden hose out, your dog will most likely chew on your garden hose. And then garden hoses are, like, super expensive. They're, like, $25 a roll for 20 feet or something like that. But I have a repair. All you do is you take this duct tape, you put it over wherever he, bit, he or she bit down on it, and you wrap it 20 times. Now, what you want to do is after that, you want to turn it on. If it works fine, then you're fine. But if it still leaks through, wrap it 20 more times, but on, but further up on the ch on the surface. So you want to choke it a little bit. If it's still leaking, choke it down. If not, I don't know what to tell you, because that's what I've done. So that works really well, and that's really good because it saves you a ton of money. Because a roll of this is about two dollars, and a garden hose is about twenty, maybe even fifty. I've seen garden hoses that are $50, so it's a big money saver right there. And another, my second favorite use for duct tape. Duct tape is really good for fixing things. Now, what a lot of people don't know is you can make things out of duct tape. Uh, in my Boy Scout troop recently, as you should know by the title, I am a Boy Scout. Uh, our troop recently made duct tape wallets. I did not make one because I was not there for the meeting due to unforeseen circumstances. But, they made duct tape wallets, and that is one really cool thing that you can do with duct tape. Alright, now my favorite reason, my favorite use for duct tape, is you can make a boat out of duct tape. So, uh, you can also see this at Dude Perfect. Um, th what they did was they took a, they took chicken wire, chicken wire, and they put, and they made a boat frame out of it. Then they took lots of rolls of duct tape and they wrapped it around they wrapped it around the boat so it would become buoyant and it would float on the water easily and they pointed it so it would glide through the water water now one thing you need to know when making your boat is if it's a survival situation then you want to make a canoe like boat where it's pointed on both ends but if you're 
using it for I need to get in get out then what you want to do is you want to take your boat and you want to slant it like that and that will and that will provide you to land on the shore no matter where you are you can land right on the shore as long as there's not tree there and it can go anywhere and but the thing is with you want to do is you want to curve it up like like I showed you like that but you also want to point it at the end the reason for that is because you can land anywhere and it still cuts through the water because if you have a boat where it just goes like that then the waves when they come at you will hit you and it can actually knock you out of the boat so that's really bad especially if you're in one set of I don't know how many pairs of clothes you have let's say you only have seven one for each day of the week but the thing is if you're wearing a pair of clothes and you only have seven pairs of clothes and you get those clothes wet well then you just ruined a day's worth of clothes and you have no more clothes so that really helps especially especially when it's curved and don't forget always wear life jackets I don't care what anybody says I don't care how good of a swimmer you are wear life jackets they save lives I don't care who you are I don't care if you're Michael Phelps wear a life jacket because I know somebody that almost drowned because they weren't wearing a life jacket but I was wearing a life jacket and I was fine so don't forget to wear your life jackets and stay away from boat propellers because they are sharp and they can cut you. I've seen it happen. They had to go to the ER and had to get a ton of stitches. And so, yeah, just wear your life jackets. Stay away from propellers. Another thing is, if you take a weed, weed whacker, a really good weed whacker, and you put a boat propeller on it where the where the wire goes, then it can then it makes a boat propeller for you. But what you want to do is you want to get you want to get not a gasoline powered one but a battery powered one because battery powered ones you can charge and that's really easy especially if you have a generator because in a survival situation where there's a blackout fuel is going to be really rare and you want to use that for your car to get from place to place and but electricity is still going to be extremely rare but if you have a generator it's a lot easier yes I know generators run off gasoline but they use gasoline but they still power your weed whacker and that gives it a lot more life than gasoline powered because their fuel tanks are small because they want to make them small and condensed. So those are my top favorite um, uses for duct tape. This ran a little bit longer than I thought. We're at 7 minutes and 56 seconds right now. So this ran a little bit longer than I wanted to but I needed to get this out there. Um, so Happy New Year's to everybody. And so I'm going to try and upload a video daily. I don't know if that's going to work because I have a different schedule. So I don't know if I'll be able to work. I'll probably make some extra videos. And if you see me wearing the same clothes in different videos, it's because I pre-recorded a lot of, ep of videos so that I wouldn't have to worry about recording extra episodes. have to worry about recording another episode when I don't have enough time to. I just have enough time to upload one. So because making these videos is not as easy as it seems. You can ask any YouTuber. You have you don't have an aggressive schedule unless you make yourself having an aggressive schedule. Like Dan TDM, he has made his schedule aggressive enough to where he has to juggle a wife, a YouTube channel that posts two day two times a week a day and pugs. So uh, also I don't support him. I don't like him. He's if you like him, that's fine. I don't care. But me personally, I just don't like him. He is not very funny in my opinion. And he's kind of childish. I'm going to say that now. He's over 21 and he's childish, which I'm fine with. He can be a little childish. My grandfather is the most childish person you have ever seen and he's 66 years old, I think. 65 or 66, maybe 67. Somewhere in that range. But yeah, he's the most childish person I know, but he knows like he knows what childish is and Dan TDM doesn't know because he never grew up so but if you like Dan TDM it's fine I don't care you have your own opinions I can't make your opinions for you what America's for but yeah so yeah uh, this video has ran a lot longer than I anticipated we're at 9 minutes and 57 seconds which is 
two minutes um, uh, away from what I just said was a long time. Exactly two minutes, so that's a little weird. But yeah, so I needed to get that out there, and I wanted to tell you my schedule and everything I'm gonna probably gonna be doing. Um, there are gonna be videos with multiple parts. Be warned of that. But I will tell you if it's multiple parts, like my crossbow video. You should go check that out. Um, it's got a lot of useful tips, especially if you got one and you don't know how to use it. It's got a ton of useful tips in it. I'll probably re-upload one because then it wasn't very planned out. It was more of a Hey, let's do this. Okay. It was kind of one of those. So, yeah. Um, right now, that's what I'm planning on doing is once a day. If I don't, don't get mad at me because anybody that knows me knows that I have a semi-aggressive schedule. And I can't always get my, my family to cooperate with my YouTube schedule because my YouTube channel just got started a couple days ago. And my family's gotten started since the beginning of time so but yeah so that's my idea is probably once a week or once a week once a day uh, during holidays on national holidays like Christmas Thanksgiving all that I'll probably try and post one and I'll be a holiday exclusive one like Christmas uh, I would have uploaded one but I didn't and I'll probably show you a couple of my Christmas presents that I got in later videos. But yeah, so, um, yeah, th I think this is where I'm going to end the video. This is a Boy Scout. Don't forget to subscribe. Um, like, it really helps the channel grow. Right now I'm only at four or five subscribers right now. I did really hope if you guys could contribute a little bit. And I know that not everybody's into this sort of thing. And that's fine, and that's fine. If you really wanted to see just one video of mine in particular you don't have to subscribe okay I don't hold that against you that is your own personal opinion so yeah I think I'm gonna end this video here a little longer than I anticipated I ex anticipated like uh, six seven minutes and right now we're at 12 minutes and 21 seconds so I think I'm gonna stop this video here and I think I'll see you guys tomorrow and that'll be that peace Boy Scout signing off.